question an elephant? Yeah, I mean, it was something I tried researching, but obviously there's no research materials out there at all on Google, on, on, on books or anything. Welcome back. Now, don't close the book on literature just yet. Interest in the subject at the O-levels is rising. You stay here long enough to give me an account of that money you stole. Yeah. Acting, debating, singing. Well, these literature lessons at Hawaii Secondary are by no means boring. The school opted for literature as an O-level subject two years ago, after noticing a spike in interest among its lower secondary students, for whom the subject is compulsory. Our lower tech students, they have indicated a very strong interest to take it up yeah, by speaking to their literature teachers, yeah, um, informing them that they would really like to take up and they are ready to take up upper tech literature. At the same time, right, during the sec 2 streaming, we saw the increased you know, interest percentage see, of our students who have actually chosen upper side literature as their subject. Literary activities like Hawaii's Language Festival are also open to all students, where they get to dress up for two days and meet with a haiku poet. The greater exposure has piqued interest among students. Since I was young, I cultivated a love for reading, and now that I'm in secondary school, and I realized that there was like a whole separate subject just dedicated to like reading and analyzing different texts, and it really like sparked an interest in me. Schools like Naval Bay Secondary, which has offered the subject at O levels for more than five years, are also giving classes a unique spin. These include grading students' works on Instagram, playwriting, and artistic book covers. The number of schools offering upper secondary literature has grown from 85% in 2015 to 90% this year. The Education Ministry figures also show that over the last five years, one in five students has taken literature as an O-level subject. There's even a larger community effort to promote the subject in schools. The National Schools Literature Festival, which started with 26 schools taking part in 2005, has grown to 107 schools this year. The Ground Up Initiative started as a project between some teachers. One of the aims of uh, the Lit Fest is to provide a platform for students to bring literature alive uh, beyond the classroom to also dialogue with students from other schools. I think um, one of the results that we've seen is that it has become a culture in their own school. Students compete in debates, performances and poetry recitals in the one-day event. Through the debates, you get to learn um, different perspectives of the same material and also you get to know how to better present your points and also you, uh, you know how to better articulate your, your points within a set amount of time. Even schools which don't offer the subject have integrated literature into their pedagogy. Crest Secondary, a specialised school for normal technical students, has set its students to compete in the last four years. Teachers Channel News Asia spoke with also testify that students acquire better oratory skills, a sharper confidence and clearer language structures. Indeed, many say literature is a subject that transcends the classroom. And with a growing community determined to see it through, there will be more chapters to fill. Turning our attention elsewhere now, a beverage company has recalled some batches of Ribena concentrate products as a precaution. That's because they may not...